Hello everyone, Robbie here from Splash Painting. Hope you're all having a great day. So we are doing what is called color washing. Popular new trend, fun to do, and a little bit hard, but this video is gonna help explain that. So yesterday we painted the base color, um, cannot think what color it, it's called. I do have a spotter here. It's my wife, she's gonna help me. This is actually in our house. So if you hear someone in the background saying, hey, watch this, it's good to have a spotter. The reason is, is because, well, I'm not gonna be able to see what I'm trying to do. If you can tell the side of here, that's what we're, the end result is we're trying to get done is right here. Um, so let me show you the things you're gonna need and how you do. Obviously pick your colors. Now, if you can tell there's two different colors in this tray. So yes, you pour one on one side, one on the other, get a big brush, have a little chip brush, have some water, not hot water, because hot water will actually activate the latex in the paint and you don't want that and you want to rack. So here we go. Hope this works out right, right? Only way to know is to do it. Real quick, all the brown paper, this is called skirting because there's so much action. I have it all over the ceiling, you can't tell, but we have it all in the fireplace because when you see this, the action of this, uh, it will explain to you why you need that. So let's see how we can show you one key thing don't put a lot of paint on your paintbrush you don't need that much um, I'll start right here to kind of give you so you can see usually I want to start at the top but this video is not um, but we'll start right here if you don't know that's what the skirting is for you can kind of tell um, how you're going with that so let's see the, eye, the concept is to pull this out in every direction, so your wrist may hurt after. And we did around the corners on this, so I'm okay going around that corner, but you can tell there's not a tremendous amount of paint. If you do need to dip in, hit it on your skirt to get some of it off. And then work that new paint in. Now don't do big, you know, big X's. I tried doing that in the first on one of the first when I first started, that's not what we want. Now dab in. Now I have someone here spotting my wife. She's gonna tell me if it's looking, you know, because this is to each person's eye and how you're gonna actually want this done. So and then you have your water, if you need it, don't squirt really close, you want to be back from it because it's going to go everywhere, so just low pressure, and that's going to actually help bring this, uh, give you a little bit more of that design, and actually it's going to pull the accent color back out. So, but I'm going to go up top and uh, start doing this, and we will show you what the rest looks like as we get wrapped up. This is where it gets tricky, guys. Right. Yep. And gals, because you don't want to have any like patterns or brush, like distinct brush marks in it. That's why it's good to have someone around the corner telling you. <laughs> And that's why we have the papers. You can actually just go right into the paper. That doesn't look. To the right, up to, yeah, to the left, sorry. To the left. Right there. Right here? No, no, yeah, right there. Go down. Yep, right through there. And then bring more of that white color in. Throw up that whole middle. I 
like there's All right, so color rushing's done. I gotta pull the tape off, but again, this is one of those uh, design things that you do that it's based upon how you want it to look. You could leave a lot more accent or not. This is three colors. I'll post the name of the colors in the video. Um, but that's color washing. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Head over to my Instagram page at splash underscore painting. We do lots of giveaways there. And uh, don't miss out the weekly Coffee with Contractors talk. Thank you. Have a good day.